How did this all begin? I don't know. <laughs> no, I always liked sport, right? Like from a kid. Uh, how personal do I get? Yeah, I got into sport because I always liked sports. I remember going to the library and only wanting to read sports books. There are other these library reading programs that I, they just didn't interest me because the books that they were offering wasn't the ones that I liked. And I started to read biographies on different athletes. I remember as a kid reading Graham Gooch's book in cricket. All sort of stuff, but track and field is big. I mean, I grew up in Jamaica and participated. Don't want to talk about that. But I always had an inkling for track and field. And even before I knew or understood myself, I remember there was a point where I used to go into this bar or shop, most, most likely a shop, but they would sell other things too. And I used to talk with people who were much older than me and I used to tell them what I think would happen in sports and cricket and track and field and they used to run me out saying I don't know what I they used to run me out of those places saying I don't know anything until there was a moment where I had I think this may have been 1995 when I accurately predicted that Donovan Bailey would win the men's 100 meters I told him Atta would come I think third or something of the sort and Frankie Fredericks would be there and I started to talk all of that stuff and I you know this guy started to I don't know I guess he took me on the information and then he used to see me all around like walking back to my home and so I used to start calling the analysts come over here and then he used to ask me all these questions and at that point I wasn't really grasping what he was asking me at the time but it turns out that he just used to get my opinion on different sporting events, including horse racing, which I didn't really know at the time, because he was going at the betting shop to make money. And so I was providing this kind of an analysis that I suppose helped him in the betting shop, so much so that he used to offer me alcoholic beverages, which I couldn't drink at the time. So I would drink this malt beverage that they had in Jamaica called, I think it's called a Malta and they would be drinking Guinness or something of the sort and we would talk sports. So I got into sports like that, I read a lot of different sports books, I watch a lot of sports probably, too much sports it could be detrimental to your relationships but that's how I got into it and I've always um, been into track and field in particular as well and you know, I studied it, I talked to a lot of people about it, I watch a lot of it, I used to record those things Back in the old VHS days, you know, when I came to the States, I still got involved by, you know, always watching. So you find me watching a lot of sports, reading about sports, sometimes teaching sports, you know, but that's me. <laughs>